Uh, my name is Steven Chiskevich. I'm a doctoral student at Wilkes University, and I'm assistant professor of information technology at Keystone College in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. And is this your first time at the STEM Tech Biz Conference? Yes. And what do you think? I, I think it's been fantastic. Uh, yesterday's sessions were absolutely amazing. Um, from Nick and the Whisk company yesterday morning, uh, straight through the end of the day, there wasn't a session that wasn't just fantastic yesterday. Um, I don't think I've ever taken so many notes uh, on my MacBook ever at a conference either, so it's been good. Did any particular session jump out at you? Is it particularly relevant for your work? Or, or oh, I, I, thought, I thought a few things were interesting. I thought some of the, the mix of the governmental issues were interesting yesterday. We had a lot of, uh, uh, you know, even though I'm from the States, there was a lot of information about transparency in the UK government, which I thought was interesting. And there are a lot of things I think that would be a wonderful take back to my students. Um, things are a little different in the States, uh, structurally, um, in, in regarding transparency, but I could see that this model would work very well. Great. Right. I also thought that WISC was, from my student's standpoint, I thought that was a really interesting case study for semantic technologies. Just in the fact you're looking at different units of measure, and some of that really I think is a wonderful reference for, for students in discussing this topic. So are you going to be able to practically apply any of what you've learned here into what you're Yes, doing? That, absolutely. One of the things, I was just talking to some of the folks that did the last session um, about the bathing water quality, and I had a conversation with you about the hydraulic fracking issue um, in the States, and I know there's research grant money available in my area right now in this topic area, and I'm, and I'm most likely going to try to put together a grant proposal um, at my university when I go back and apply some of the uh, semantic information from the last session, maybe even contact the, the presenters um, if I get this funding and put something together um, to do water quality um, in northeastern Pennsylvania um, due to the natural gas industry. So I'm taking a little bit more away from this than things from my students. So I think it's just wonderful. Great, thanks so much. Thanks. My name's Tom Heath, I work at Talos Education Limited. Any, any big aha moments for you? Um, I was really struck by the presentation from Revolitics about who they choose to recruit, mainly um, philosophy and maths graduates, um, which I think makes a lot of sense. They've got a good rationale for that, and then they teach them the skills in-house. So what kind of skills do they come in with, and what kind do they uh, get trained on? Well, they come in with analytical thinking, the ability to, to break a problem down into, into meaningful chunks and tackle each of those. Um, which makes a lot of sense. I'm a, I'm a psychology graduate and I, I exhibit exactly the same skills. Uh, <laughs> they get trained up in-house on, on Sparkle, um, modeling with RDFS, etc. And, um, and not, not particularly heavy on the coding. In fact, they come in with no coding skills, by the way, so, typically. Hello, I'm Matteo from uh, Trento. I, one inside I noticed there is a lot of use of semantic technology in public uh, in government, in uh, which is, I think, excellent because it means that government and public institutions are moving forward uh, an open data approach. At the same time, I'm looking to understand more commercial companies. What is the commercial use with private companies of semantic data? I wanted to know more about this one. So. Great. Thank you okay. very much, Matteo. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi there, what's your name? Tom Remy. Tom, who are you with? Um, I'm with my own company, a uh, company called Caps Group, a um, group of consultants in text analytics. And I know you spoke yesterday about uh, applications and social networks. Yep, the new, new advances in social media, um, which is obviously somewhat tangential to the main focus of the, of the, content, of the conference. But um, a lot of people are doing, um, com trying to figure out ways to combine um, what's going on in social media, which is a very hot area, obviously, um, with uh, semantic technologies. So, so my talk was mostly on what, what's new in the, in the social media world. And what sort of uh, feedback have you gotten from people? A lot of good feedback, and a lot of people that um, have come up and asked about um, the very specific kinds of things we talked about, um, how to locate experts within an organization by the text um, that they write, things like that, um, how to communicate. Um, so a lot of it had to do with, with the, the text part as opposed to um, the data part, um, which is more of the, you know, the overall focus of the conference. Any particular sessions other than your own that you were struck by? 
mean, were some best sessions better than mine? Well, let's see. What's, how should I answer that? Yeah, no. Well, what about um, the Yes, of course. Yeah, no, there, there were um, quite a few um, sessions, quite good. Um, the one in particular was the one by uh, Maddie Solomon, um, Pearson um, Education. Um, what they've done with uh, combining specifically um, text analytics, um, auto categorization with semantic technologies um, and semantic um, resources like DPpedia um, and how to put all those pieces together. That to me is the most exciting part about all this, not how to do one area better, um, but how to put all the pieces together. So that was a great talk. Thanks so much. Okay, thank you. Yeah. My name is Arivoli Trivangram. I'm a principal member of technical staff from Oracle America. Um, I'm here at the Semtech UK 2012 conference, and it's been two days, and it's really interesting. Lots of uh, you know great people and interesting topics. Yesterday, uh, a session that comes to my mind jumps out of my mind is like Bert Van Leeuwen's "Under the Hood" as a firefighter, how semantic technologies can be used. It was very live. I've seen his presentations before, but every time we keep seeing his, it always keeps us to keep wanting to see, and you know the presentation skills plus the concepts. And he was explaining that, you know, uh, in their department, like three, four people have died because of a kind of wrong semantics or, you know, understanding or lack of communication, et cetera. And that compelled them to use a better semantics and how to communicate better, how to understand and decipher data. So it was like a personal thing and also like it's moving and it also gives us the focus on semantic technologies or any other better communication technologies. So that's um, something that comes to my mind immediately. Thank you.